wiping this one dry um, so I can put my little top leaves on there. Uh, I saw someone do this and I don't remember who it was. I do apologize. But um, I'm taking just the blade of my X-Acto knife kind of on the side, not on the actual um, cutting edge of it. And you kind of have to find the way the paper is wanting to scratch the best for you. I hope you can see that. Let me try and get you a little closer yet. Okay, I'm scratching a little line in here. I've tried many uh, different ways, methods, however you want to say it, of putting veins in leaves and things. And I just I don't know. I've not been successful with <clears throat> with them so far. So I saw someone doing this and it was uh, actually kind of in a little bit different uh, uh, way. I was in a landscape. And if you can see those little veins that I scratched into that to that it uh, and this is another another uh, reason why I love arches because it's very forgiving if you want to do um, something of this nature uh, it um, try to get the kind of the way my leaf is looking like it's Setting. And you can, I don't know if there's a better tool or anything like that that you can use to do this with, but um, I find just the edge of my blade works fairly well. And I also don't know how this would work um, on a lesser quality paper. I have lesser quality paper, but I have never tried that with it so far. And I mean, it, it does not hurt it at all. You can see. Maybe, hopefully. Um, so, I'm just going to, um, I know this video is going to be so unbelievably long. I'm just going to put it in, I'll, I'll cut a bunch of it out or fast forward a huge amount of it. But I will put it in fast forward now for sure and um, just... Uh, go on uh, doing the basically the exact same thing only at this time I'm going to be adding leaves um, to it. Oh, and my little burgundy burgundy petals in the middle. I might do those first. Okay, I'll fast forward and because um, you've pretty much seen me do just about everything that I'm going to be doing here, <laughs> um, except finishing the rest of the card, which I will not, um, I'll show it to you when it's all, <clears throat> all completed, uh, you know, when I have the, <clears throat> oh, this Christmas blessings on the front or whatever, and um, the maybe mounted to the card base. And then I'll show you that whenever that's all done. So, 
In the meantime, enjoy the music. Okay, here you'll see that I have added a little bit of a pine bough. Um, and again, let me apologize for being out of frame. That's what I meant when I said that I'm being brave by turning the camera on. Um, especially when I'm doing watercolors, I lose myself in the, in the process of painting it. Um, which, as I've said before uh, in my videos, that's a, a good thing. I think it's very relaxing for me. Um, but I also tend to forget to pay attention to where I'm filming and how good it is coming out as far as for you guys to see. So that's why you see my pine boughs here are out of frame. Uh, and I do apologize. It's uh, basically just little tiny lines, as you can see there, just little um, lines with little um, lines off to the side, you know, like, uh, I'm not sure which kind of a pine tree this is, but it has those long, thin, um, like, needles or pine boughs, and they're uh, little you know, little like that with all the all the little little tiny fronds coming off of the center of it. I mixed up some um, what I what my interpretation of an evergreen color is um, because those pine boughs often look have a bluish cast or a bluish tint to me. So uh, that's what I have here. And there you can see them a little bit better, thankfully. And 
and I do go on to put some up at the top as well on the top um, poinsettia and oh what do you know I'm in frame <laughs> it's a miracle so you can see there it's just a little thin line um, with the little leaves I guess or needles I, I don't know what they are they feel really soft when they're first they're, when they're first when they first come out and then after that they feel real spiky <laughs> so um, the new ones feel real soft but anyway there I am with my um, poor excuse for botany <laughs> that I have no idea what I'm talking about so there's uh, there you go though they they, they look very similar to that. And I guess I'm trying to decide here where I want to put the other one or the another one or whatever you want to say. So I decide to go ahead and put one here. and out of frame again but I think it does get a bit better there we go these are fun to do um, that brush that I'm using there I believe is a size 4 round and I just used the tip of it to make the little lines they're very fun to do and I'm going to put an, uh, another one out alongside of this one sort of a a double like the one on the bottom flower or top flower whichever one it's going to end up being I still can't decide <laughs> so And there we go. I've got the pine boughs on there. So, yeah. Okay. Um, this will be about the end of it here. Um, I hope I showed some of the little pine bough branches that I added to it. Um, I hope I got some of that footage in there. And then the last thing I want to do is do the centers. Um, I have uh, this really pretty metallic gold. Um, it's in this set here and the colors are beautiful and they're very vibrant. It's called um, Mica color, stargazer, twinkling color palette, um, and um, I got it. I just got it online. Now, these um, little things in the middle. I hope my gold's gonna work. Drop some little gold bits here in the center.
Um, I did put some green, like little tiny stems in there as well, because uh, it looks like down towards the center of the flower uh, of the poinsettia, it's a there's green stems in there. But I just wanted to put some of this metallic on it. I thought that would look really pretty for Christmas. Okay, I don't mind that. That's not too bad. I may add um, some of this yellow, put some in the middle here. And add some of this yellow and do some splatters. I think it's dry enough to do some splatters. Oh, I hope this works. <laughs> Don't want too many. There we go. And I think they do sparkle. I don't know if you can see them there. I think you can. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's done. I think. <laughs> I'm thinking it's done. <laughs> um, that's it, folks. Uh, I don't know how much of this you'll end up seeing because I know it really, really went long. Um, as I'm sure there's, there's people out there that already know this or do this or whatever, but I uh, probably should have taped my my paper down. Um, but it seems like I always forget to do that. And so what happens is then, of course, my... Oh, that mica powder looks so pretty in that water. What happens, of course, is then my paper... Um, warps like this and I can't do this until it's completely dry but what I have done and what has really worked amazingly well for me uh, and I've not tried it with any other paper except the arches but uh, I just turn it over on the other side and I take my water my spray bottle of water just lightly spray the back of it, the entire back of it. Now not, you know, don't soak it or anything. Just lightly spray it. And then I lay it down um, on a flat surface, like my board here, clean flat surface. And I put um, one of my really heavy books on it and I let it sit there all night and it flattens it out um, just perfectly. So, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to go with it this way or if I'm going to go with it this way. <laughs> I really don't know. That will remains to be seen whenever I go to finish the card. But um, thank you, everybody, for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. And um, please, uh, if, you, if you liked this video, subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up. A thumbs up is great. I really appreciate that and a kind comment uh, would be amazing. Okay, until I visit with you next time, everybody. God bless you. Bye!